Hey, it's Phil from Philips Dynalight, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up the backnet function in the PDEG S. So, first things first, before you start, you need to make sure you've got System Builder version 4.36 or greater, you've got firmware 1.22 or greater in your backnet device, and you have fully commissioned your system because the wizard that we're going to use to set up the backnet will use your commissioning details to give you your points count. Once you can say yes to those three things, then we can start with the setup. If I right click on the PDEG S in my tree and I choose backnet configuration, it gives me a macro level detail of all the available backnet points and how many of those points I've got in the project file. As you can see here, I'm at 4,231 points. Now licensing is available in four sizes. You've got 100 points, 1,000 points, 5,000 points, and 10,000 points. So I'm currently under the threshold for 5,000 point license. If uh, costs or the budget is tight, um, or just for, for good practice, you can start removing, as I said, at a macro level, large chunks of these points to bring your point count down. Remember, of course, there's a cost to buy the license, but there is also a BMS cost to set up each of these points on the other end. So you don't want any redundant points there. That's just a waste of time and money. So for example, here, if I take out drivers, lamps and lamp runtime, if I didn't want that information, um, I'm now at 724 points. That means I'm under the threshold for a thousand point license. And obviously that's uh, a little bit more cost effective, but it gives me the functionality that I require. The details on these points is available in the Ethernet Gateway manual. So please refer to that for, for more details on, on the setup and also for details on the points, whether they are read-write points or, or read-only points and so on. If I click next, I go to step two, and this is a micro level of the points. Here, I can drill into a single area and I can choose the functions of that area. I can turn the area on and off. Um, I can choose whether I can see the preset, the temperature, and so on, all the different points that are associated with the area. And if I multi-select backnet objects, I can turn them on and off on mass using my point types field. Once I'm happy with that, the next stage is to set up the naming convention. So we talk to the BMS integrator and we agree on how we want the points to be named. And then we can move those details in and out of the segments. The selected segments, the order that those are in will be displayed below in backnet objects. So if I click preview, I can now see what each of the points is going to look like. That is their backnet object ID and their backnet object name. Once I'm comfortable with that, finally I can do a review. I can run through all the points. I can see how they're labeled. I can see their point IDs. I can see their point types. And if I'm happy with that, I can run enable trial. This will give you 28 days uh, of 10,000 point license. So any size project you're running up to 10,000 points, you can now deploy. Uh, you can test with the BMS to make sure that everything is working correctly. So the final thing that you need to do then is license the software and the licensing process is explained in the partner video to this video and the link is below. When you're done, you say finish. Your system is now operational. You can now test it. You will need to give the BMS uh, integrator one more collection, should we say, of information and that is they may need the IP address of the device, which is available in device properties. And if you scroll down to the bottom of device properties, we have this BACnet section. If you click advanced, you can see the network ID, the device ID, the port number, um, and you can share that with the BMS integrator and that will allow him to get his BMS client to connect to our BMS server. That should cover it. As I said, more details in the Ethernet Gateway Manual should you need them. And good luck. 